Hey guys, so what I thought I'd do here today is just show you this uh, Neo Geo that I got off eBay. Um, and the problem with this is it has, um, like when you turn it on with no cartridge in there, it comes up with a red screen. Um, now, I don't actually have a cartridge on hand to test with at the moment, um, but I'm guessing it'll probably just come up with a black screen or something. Uh, because a red screen means that the Neo Geo has got a work RAM error. Um, a work RAM is um, basically the RAM that it, the console uses to run the main program of the game. And it's kind of a handy feature of the uh, the Neo AES that it will, you know, sort of give you a coloured screen on boot up. Um, if it's blue, that means that all tests pass okay, um, so the, the game should at least run. Uh, it doesn't test the Z80 um, for the uh, boot test, so it, it won't know if the... Um, the Z80 is okay unless there's actually a game in there and you can sort of hear it for yourself but yeah as you can see it's a red screen so that means uh, that we've got a program ROM error um, other errors you get are I think it's green for palette RAM um, yellow for video RAM I think it's pink if the, there's a problem with the BIOS <laughs> and it's a uh, oh, I can't remember now there is another one uh, light blue I think it's cyan if there's a memory card error, um, but it'll only test the memory card if you've actually got it plugged in. So, um, but yeah, so ignore the blue screen. By the way, that's just my TV's AV channel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this open, uh, have a look at the uh, the work RAM area, and see if we can't figure out what's going on. Okay, so I've pulled the top off, and if we zoom in here, I'm not sure how far it will go in actually because uh, the camera probably can't focus too well on on small things but um, there were a couple of traces that were um, severed there was one that led up here and one that joined a couple of address pins here um, but if you do get that screen then the first thing you're going to want to do really is um, get the data sheet on the RAM chip um, now this one happens to be a uh, 6K58257 AM um, which is just a 256k RAM chip. Um, obviously you've got a couple of those there. But what you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that the um, address uh, pins, which are the A pins on the uh, data sheet, you want to make sure they're all um, linked together on both chips and also that they... Um, I'm not sure if they go straight up here. I think they just go... They've got to go to the 68k there, yeah. Um, and also make sure the uh, data pins are also going to the 68k. But what I'll just do is I'll plug it in and uh, see if we get that blue screen we want. Okay, so once again, remember that this is my uh, the blue screen of my AV channel, not the Neo Geo. So if I just switch it on here. Yeah, that's what we wanted to see. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, that's fixed it. So... I can zoom in a bit better this time for some reason. But you can see where the uh, the jumpers I've put on there are. But yeah, so um, hopefully that helps someone out if you've got a similar problem with yours. Um, you may notice actually that's widescreen there. Um, for some reason, my AV cable does that. Just press the zoom button. There we go. So yeah, blue screen. That's what we wanted to see. So yeah, like I say, I hope that's helped someone out. Um... If you have any questions about it, then don't hesitate to uh, put a little comment in the section below. Um, but I guess that's it for now, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I got last result in the post. And I thought I'd just show you guys it working on the console. Yeah. <laughs> Love a bit of last result. Awesome, awesome game. <laughs>